It would be hard enough to find a place to keep this stuffed elephant. Imagine if you were trying to find a retirement spot for the real thing. That is the situation in Bill Geist's unforgettable saga. This is an elephant's tail. Delory lived in Philadelphia where she put in 43 years at the zoo, employed as an exhibit. Oh, look, here he comes. Here he look, comes. here he comes. Never missing a day, but was laid off this year. Why do we come to see the elephant? Where's the elephant going? New house. There was a retirement party where her friends came to say their goodbyes. We just want to say good goodbye. goodbye to the elephant. Goodbye to the elephant? Yes. But where would Delory retire? Elephants don't have 401ks and a choice of retirement communities. There's really only one that's exclusively for pachyderms. The Elephant Sanctuary in Hohenwald, Tennessee. Started in 1995 by Carol Buckley and her partner Scott Blay, it has grown to 2,700 acres, a place where elephants can literally run wild, although being a retirement home, they usually walk. What we try to do is just give them autonomy, you know, give them their life back. The only confinement that we have for them is when they're in the barn, and it's their choice to come in the barn, but we give them as much freedom and flexibility in their own life, uh, freedom of who they can hang out with, where they can go, um, you know, if they like or dislike a keeper, you know, that comes into effect also, and we try to accommodate them. And do they ever? The level of service is five-star hotel quality. So if the elephants don't feel like hoofing it back to their new luxury barn, food and beverages are delivered. We bring it out on four-wheeler wherever they are because we don't want to dictate their movement and behavior. There's spa cuisine and spa treatments like apple cider vinegar foot baths. Moreover, the elephants don't ever have to perform or entertain. The public isn't even allowed in to look at them, except by webcam, 40 million hits last year. We run the risk of, one, disturbing them by bringing in people, and two, run the risk of impacting them negatively on a social level. Co-starring with Delory in this elephant's tale is Tara. <laughs> Tara had a brilliant career in show business where she was huge, still is, 8,700 pounds. Carol Buckley was her owner-manager. She and I went on the road and performed in circus for about 15 years. It was that classic traditional elephant act. The elephant runs around in a circle and then lays down, sits up, plays a harmonica, waves at the audience, you know, all those silly tricks. In fact, she was the world's only roller skating elephant. Presenting Tara the Baby Elephant! She was even on TV. That's her doing a guest spot on Little House on the Prairie. And when Tar was little, she liked it. It was fun. But as she got older, it was not so much fun anymore. I, I really didn't want to be with an unhappy elephant. You know? <laughs> Tara was ready to hang up her skates. So I just started thinking about, you know, do elephants have to live in these traditional environments, in zoos and performing in circuses? Isn't there something else? And after about a 10-year search, I realized there was nothing else. You're on the original property that we, when we first bought the property, is 112 acres, and this is the founding piece of land. Yes, what Carol and Scott started as a little plot for Tara has become the elephant sanctuary. A lot of people don't realize that Middle Tennessee is subtropical. High humidity level, lots of water, lush vegetation that is quite suitable for uh, the Asian elephant specifically. They really do flourish here. <laughs> In the wild, what we see is that with female elephants, they're matriarchal, they live in large groups of, of related others, but they have a best friend. And we see the same thing happening here. Sorry to disturb your Like back. Winky and Sissy, their that. best friends. <coughs> or Shirley and Bunny. Tara has come alone to visit the pair. But Tara won't be alone for long. <coughs> Nor would Delore who early one Philadelphia morning left her solitary confinement, boarded her private 18-wheeler, and hit the road. No 
one makes elephant seat belts yet, but this custom elephant trailer was fitted with safety bars to hold passengers in place. Born to be wild. The crew, Scott from the sanctuary and Jen and Chris from the zoo, made frequent stops to fill up. They still refused to serve elephants in most restaurants, so Delory had to eat in the truck. She got some fresh hay, carrots, apples, potatoes, beets, and some grain. Delory seemed to be enjoying the ride. She's just rock solid steady. Amazing girl. So they pushed on before stopping for the night. It's tough to find motels that allow large pets, so Delory had to sleep in the truck in the Walmart parking lot. We only have half a day left and then she'll be there soon. After 19 hours on the road, Delores' ride finally pulled into the elephant sanctuary, where Tara came running to greet the truck. It was as though she'd been waiting all these years for Delore to arrive. You got to be easy. Now, I know, but you have to be easy. But Delore wouldn't get out. Perhaps she didn't want to get involved in a new relationship. She'd been hurt before, poked in the eye by a tusk. Oh, silly. Uh. They tried oh, everything to coax her out. Look what I have here. <coughs> oh, goodness. Look at this. I have a watermelon here. So For more than four hours, and nothing worked until Tara sashayed over. And their trunks touched. People, let me tell you about my best friend. He's a warm-hearted person who loved me till the end. People, let me tell you about my best friend. And these new best friends, Delore and Tara, lived happily ever after, so far, in this pachydermal paradise. Two retired immigrant elephants from Southeast Asia who found each other in the hills of Tennessee. <laughs> 